What's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be learning about how to change a backdrop to this to this. So let's get into the video. Alright so the first thing we're going to do when changing the color of a backdrop we're going to head over into the object selections panel. We have three different choices that we can make. It's the object selection, the quick selection tool, and the magic wand. These all serve different purposes, but what we're going to be using in today's video is the object selection. We're going to click ob ob object selection and then click select object, where it will then render a selection around the subject. And then once we do that, we want to be able to see other areas in the image that weren't rightfully selected. So we're going to go to our cube, uh, keyboard and click Q. Q will then create a layer mask where we can zoom into the image and see the areas that weren't selected like the little hair uh, surface where it's connecting it's a pretty pretty intricate like location and what we can do to solve this problem is click the uh, brush tool we can also go into the color picker and click black anything that we want to make a color of we can click black and say if we were to mess up the selection and go in an area that we didn't want it to be in we can go and change the color into white and we can literally just brush directly across it and it's going to do the same thing black uh, makes the mask white deselects the mask so we're going to now stroll down and see if any other areas like this need to be corrected we see a little dot right here I'm going to go back into my blacks being that this creates the layer mask and I'm then going to draw and fill in that little surface. I see we have a little area over here. I'm going to just, you know, create a selection. And anywhere else that I would like to, you know, fit that color space in. It looks like we have a pretty good selection right now. So the next thing we're going to do before that is go right back to the keyboard. Click Q with me. There we go. Now we have our full selection around the image. And now we're going to go head over here into the layers panel and click this little black and white circle. Once we click that black and white circle, what we're going to do is stroll all the way up to the uh, select solid color, click solid color, and then it's going to render the image into any color we want to select. For anything that you want to have a pop of color that it's very saturated, you're going to move it over to the right. Anything that you want to have a pastel or less saturated color, you're going to move straight over to the left. See that? All right. So what we're going to do, being that Devin has a boy, I'm going to change this into a blue backdrop. I'm going to then click OK. Once we do that, we can go right back into the layers panel and we'll go straight into the normal. We're going to stroll all the way down to multiply. Well, actually, I'm going to do this for you guys first so you can see a visual reference. Once, what, once we're into the layers panel, we're going to go over and click the layers mask. We're going to head up to properties and stroll down. Click invert. After we click invert, it will bring the image to the selective color that we would like and we desire to. But one thing that we are missing is those shadows that were in this image. In order to get those shadows, what we're going to do is click normal. We're going to stroll all the way down to multiply and see how those uh, shadows just came back into the image. Click multiply and there you have it. Now with this image it's a little bit more saturated than I would like. So what I'm going to do is now head up a little bit to uh, my left and desaturate this image. I would like to also, let's see, I can try a little, you know, more images just to like, well colors just to let you guys see. But you can then start to, you know, if it's yellow, you can do that. If we want to make it a little bit more saturated, it still looks great. We can stroll into green. We can stroll into blues, purples, reds, whatever it is. But in today's video, we're going to do a light blue selection. Well, actually, let's do something purple. Let's make it a little bit more fun. So we're going to do a purple uh, selection. Next, after we finish getting the color that we uh, desired this image to be, we're going to click OK and this is it so we went from a plain white backdrop to a actual backdrop in color 
by simply doing the steps of going up here to the object selection, clicking select object. We then turn this into a layers mask by clicking Q on the keyboard. We filled in all of the areas that weren't selected by going over here and changing the image to black. Anything that needed to be filled in, we selected black. If we overdid something or it wasn't a correct selection within that, we can go to white and white will then deselect anything that was selected that we didn't want to have selected. We clicked OK. We went over here to the layers panel. We clicked this little black and white circle, strolled all the way up to solid colors. After solid colors, we went over here to our layer mask. We clicked invert, which made the image cha uh, ch change to the desirable color that we want to, you know, want it to have in the image. And then also what we did was head over here to the layer mask and clicked normal to get our shadows back into the image. And this does, you know, different things. You can always, always play around with it depending on your, you know, uh, workflow or if you want the shadows to have a, like a little purple hue to it, whatever it is, you can know, you can have that color gel effect. But for this video, we did multiply and it brought shadows back into the image. If you like this video, feel free to hit below and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And then also make sure you like this video right here. It helps me so, so much, especially being a new channel. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash chrisphotostudios. And also to my photo store, chrisphotostudios.com slash photo stores to find more things about my business, whether it's lighting diagrams, it's Photoshop retouching LUTs, and so many other things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you back in the next video. We're out of here.